Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to do Blender Grease Pencil again, and we are going to interpolate. We're going to go over interpolating. Um, this is going to be a really quick, fast video. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. All right, cool. So I just had to fix my lights a little bit. But yeah, so, so first thing we're going to do is open up the Blender um, program. We're going to hit 2D Animation. And I'm actually do this uh, completely off of uh, the mouse and keyboard. So yeah, interpolation. What is it well, um, and how are we going to do it? So let's go ahead and go ahead and turn the strength off. Like I always like to do and I'll max it out. I'll turn the radius off and then I'll hold shift, click and we can drag it around. And that's a little too small for me. So I'll make it a little bigger. And what we're going to do since it's all, you know around Halloween, time we are just going to create a little ghost character here all right so how do we interpolate so we'll come over here to um you know key 40 we'll hit shift d to duplicate the keyframe uh we'll do the summary keyframe then i will switch over here to edit mode to select all of it um, you just hit the select box right here and then you can do lasso uh, which is my personal favorite or a box we just need a box and we'll drag it to a new position now you see the onion skin um, right here this is where the last frame was since there's only two frames it's only going to reference it. since there's no frame right here it'll just stay holding until a new frame hits it so you see how it just kind of like pops right so uh, in order to interpolate we just hit it somewhere in the middle in between this frame and this frame um, and yeah so we come over here to grease pencil come down to interpolate sequence and then there you go if you see right here it generates all these little um, in-betweens in-between frames and now when we hit play you know it just kind of smoothly goes over now for me, I don't really use this too much. It is a really powerful um, feature, and someone in the, the last video commented about it, and I'll kind of post his comment somewhere over here. But let me just kind of show you what you can do. Now, here's why I don't personally use it. Uh, it's because I do a lot of drawing um, dynamically, right? So we're gonna take the same ghost, and we'll duplicate the frames over and then draw something to uh, his, on his frame. Uh, do something like that. So we'll see how he's like, we're trying to make him walk a little bit. Now, if I was to do that again, uh, come in here in the middle, huge problem happens now, look. And that's because it doesn't have the same stroke information. It's creating new strokes. Um, so it, 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 it just doesn't know what to do because if it's on the same stroke, take this right here and then move it over here and then all it does is just go off the point positions and move those point positions in space and like that's how it works so there is a workaround to that um and i'll show you it really quick so we delete this last frame we'll duplicate it we'll take it back to 40 so it's the same thing we'll do the same thing that we did before uh g to grab and then x to so lock it on the x axis then we will come over here grease pencil interpolate sequence all right it's back here so now if you want to come in here and, and make it look like the ghost um is you know animating a little bit like his little feet which i've never done this so you know please forgive me we'll select one of these frames and we'll have to stretch it out here select one of these frames erase and then we can manually come in here and you know turn on onion skinning and we can manually come over here and then give the illusion that it's drawing now i would probably do this in a separate layer um just because of like how complicated this can get so i'll just like kind of quickly show you one two how i would do it I'm just kind of going every other frame here. All right, so now if you just kind of, you know, and what we would do is we just kind of go over the whole, um, the whole scene right there. Hold on, let me change the end to like 50. We'd go over the, the whole scene and, and we'd do that and make it to where like, oh, he's, he's uh, running. So 
to end this video, I guess, in interpolation is extremely powerful. Um, and I will show you how we can, let me show you really quick how we um, can use that weirdness to generate something like really cool. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So what we wanna do is come over here and delete everything that we just did. Take the ghost, we'll erase the ghost F to increase the brush size, we'll go back to draw. And then right here, we will just draw, um, you know, some, some, it just looks like random noise, right? So we'll draw that. Then on the first keyframe, we'll draw some random noise like this. What we're gonna do is hit draw, interpolate sequence. Then we'll come over here. Then we'll draw some noise again. Draw, interpolate sequence. Then we'll come over here. There's a method to this. I promise I'm not just doing this. I, I wanna show you how we can use that glitch or, or how interpolation works uh, to achieve, achieve some interesting uh, results right so i and all of this is with a new stroke so remember that with a new stroke it's going to do that weird like transform um rotate thing and we'll do one more just to save time here come in here boom we'll do draw just somewhere in between the two interpolate sequence and then the last one uh, it'll be 175 oops sorry end 175 all right, cool. So let me show you what it looks like now. So yeah, it could be like some little abstract loading screen or some kind of, um, you know, I don't really know how to describe it, but you can kind of go into 3D space here and if you wanted to sculpt it, make it more 3D. Um, yeah, so it just looks really cool. I think it would be like a cool little background or something. Um, you know, like between videos or something, you play with different colors and it would look just really cool. So, I mean, I think it looks cool. So yeah, to end this video, thanks so much for watching. Uh, sorry I've been so busy. Uh, a lot has been going on. I'm in college right now, so I've been writing a lot of essays and stuff like that. And it has been exhausting um, to write essays and, and still try to deliver videos. So I know I said a video every week, but please forgive me. So I made this one really quick, just so you know I am alive and well. Um, if you have any more suggestions, please comment them below, and I will do a video with them. So again, go check out the Discord if you haven't already. We're actually getting people in there now, so that's awesome. And I would love to talk with you guys, share your artwork, and grow in your grease pencil journey. I hope this video was informative. If it was, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.